Hey, I'm Ryan. I coach social skills. I've been coaching social skills full time for over 10 years now. Today, I'm going to give you an exercise that you can practice to become more funny. These exercises are probably the most helpful part of our social skills coaching. If you practice them, it's very likely that it will improve very fast. You can practice them on your own. You can practice them with a friend who you've taught it to. And you can use them in real situations as a technique. One of the reasons they're so helpful is because you can practice it on your own, so you don't need to be in a situation to practice it. And because it doesn't matter if you start off being really slow and not very confident, you can take 10 minutes the first time you do it before you can solve the exercise. Whereas in a real situation, if you take 10 minutes, everyone's probably going to have walked off or be looking at you like, why are you frozen? So this exercise is about giving an example of something and making it funny. Anytime in a social situation you have an opportunity to reference an example of a thing, you have an opportunity to make it funny. And I'd recommend that you have that fresh on your mind. In a social situation, anytime there's an opportunity to reference an example, give an example of a thing, there's an opportunity to make a joke. So to practice the exercise, all you need is to come up with different categories that you could have examples of, or a question that, or a statement that leads on to giving an example. A funny example of a type of transport might be a hot air balloon, but the compartment that holds the people is also a hot tub. A funny example of a type of food would be a cactus lollipop. If someone said, how do you think this person can become more mature? I might say they should bury their feet in the soil and stand in it, because that's how plants get more mature. So it'd probably work for them too. So the first two, a type of transport, a type of food are categories. And then the last one was a question that allows the person who's answering it to give an example. That can be obviously not the right answer, obviously not serious, but a funny example. Usually I'd recommend if you do this, you, most of the time you want to either follow up with another funny one if they were laughing. And if they kind of weren't laughing that much, then just follow up with a serious answer straight away. I'd recommend as part of the exercise, you think of a bunch of different, varied, funny examples. Now bear in mind, the examples can be funny in lots of different ways. It could be funny because it's very extreme. It could be funny because it's very silly. It could be dark. It could be ironic. The list goes on. Always good to be fast and varied with your thinking in social situations. That's one of many reasons why if a person who's stereotypically a nerd ends up doing worse in social situations usually, despite being on average more intelligent, because they're focused on being perfect and pinpointed on one area at a time. Whereas in social skills, there's tons of stuff happening all at once, and there's loads and loads of options, usually literally unlimited options that can happen next. Always prioritize speed over quality with these exercises, the complete opposite of school. You basically want to rush your homework. Speed nearly always outdoes quality in social situations. Obviously, it's better to have both, but speed is more important than quality in social situations. Speed usually equals quality because it means that you can assess more things at once and you can think of more different routes you can take going forward in a shorter space of time. So if you're making different funny examples, you want it to be like very varied to each other, ideally different types of humour. So I referenced a few examples of different types of humour a minute ago. You've got extreme, silly, uh, makes fun of someone in the situation, um, ironic, sarcastic, dark. Could be wordplay. It could be focusing on a topic that's generally funny, like clowns. Or it could be a funny image, like the picture that you draw in your mind of it is quite funny to think about. You always want to be on the lookout in social situations for either someone saying something in the conversation that allows someone who's answering to give an example or commenting, commenting or answering to give an example and opportunities where you can set up something yourself that you're saying and then give yourself an opportunity to give an example on the end and therefore giving you the opportunity to make a joke. For example, an opportunity to give a funny example. If you're on a bus and someone says, what do you think is the worst thing about this bus? You could think of something funny. Or if someone said, uh, how do you think we can liven up this party? You could also add a funny example there, such as, uh, well, what we could do is we could go and buy a load of snakes and then just let them loose. That would definitely liven things up a bit. 
some examples of saying something yourself and setting up your own opportunity to give an example might include, I think if my work goes well, I might go traveling to somewhere such as, then you can give a funny example. That car goes so fast, it could probably, then you can give a funny example. Such as that car can go so fast, it could probably end up going back in time and the person inside it might end up proposing the theory of re general relativity before Einstein does and then stealing his glory. Or perhaps that you could attach a wind turbine to it and it goes so fast that it could generate enough electricity to throw a whole party of a disco, disco lights and everything inside the car. You can also think of ways that you might steer the situation to allow yourself to generate an example as a separate exercise. One of the most important things in humour, in my opinion, is to take the risk. In nearly all situations, close to 100% of situations, you, if you're not sure whether your thing is funny or not, or it's going to go down well or not, just do it. Most of the time, the risky option is the better one. I'd say seven, eight times out of ten, something like that, where obviously I haven't counted every conversation I've ever been in. So it tends to be more confident, more likely to be funny, improves your confidence over time, more memorable, the list goes on. But the main reason of risk taking is better is because you're going to learn more from it, especially if it like especially if it goes badly. So if you're not sure whether it's a good idea to send the joke or not, and also this applies to everything else in socializing. Um, in nearly 100% of situations. So the only situations I would exclude are ones that are super, super formal, like a job interview or a funeral, or ones where there's like an actual really big danger of doing something wrong socially, like someone is clearly about to attack someone violently, or you're in a country where you can go to jail for saying the wrong thing or something like that. That's way less than 1% of scenarios. Outside of that, in nearly 100% of scenarios, if you're not sure whether it's a good idea or not, just do it. If you just do that one point on its own and forget everything else I ever say and don't try to improve your social skills in any way yourself, then you'll probably improve two to three times as fast just by doing that. As of all of these exercises, I'd recommend at least every day practice for two to three minutes just in your mind. No one has an excuse not to be able to do that. You don't even need a pen or paper or to be anywhere. Just use your thoughts for two to three minutes. Honestly, if you do that for a f one or two months, your humour will improve quite significantly if it was at a point where you wasn't doing this already that much. Ideally, obviously, do more than that if you want to improve faster, but it's more about consistency than doing loads in one go. We do one-to-one -one coaching on social skills, including a completely free trial session. If you'd like to book a free trial session, it's only half an hour or so. If you find these videos useful at all or helpful and you have a free half an hour and you want to improve your social skills, it's 100% worth doing because it's going to be more helpful than the videos. It's going to be tailored to you. If you'd like more information, just go to our website, socialshortcuts.com. There'll be a link in the description plus some other stuff down there. See you guys soon.